The following tutorial is brought to you by wholeloops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're talking about how to have a knock and kick and 808 at the same time. The example that I got pulled up is the demo track for the brand new organic male vocals available now at wholeloops.com. And this is a perfect example because the kick and 808 overlap every hit of the pattern. So in a situation like this, what can you do to help the kick and 808 share that low end space? My very first go-to method is within the sampler for your 808 and it's as simple as just grabbing the attack and creating a few milliseconds of space for your kick drum to happen. Since this kick drum from Urban Beats 3 is a short sample, I'm just using it for the knock and once we create this space, our sub kind of sounds like this. It has a little bit of a kick to it, but I didn't think it was enough of a kick, which is why I went and grabbed another one and layered it on top of it. So let's solo our kick as well. And let's just finesse this attack a little bit to find that sweet spot. amazing feature here inside of Simpler. If you click the word attack, it also gives you the slope control. So now you could do more of a scooped attack, which will create even more space for your kick drum. Hey. Hey. You can even do cool little uh, kind of wobbly effects. Now that's pretty knocking already, but we're actually gonna take it just a step further. So I'm gonna grab both these tracks and freeze them. Oh, I guess since this one is controlling my side chain, what I'm gonna do is duplicate it and then just freeze the duplicate. Looks like the same problem with the 808. So I'm gonna do that. Let's freeze these two. Are you tired of searching through overused, low quality vocal samples? Have you wasted days of your life mixing your embarrassing vocal recordings? Introducing the Organic Vocal Bundle, the complete collection of male and female samples, sauced up and ready to drop in your productions. The Organic Vocal Bundle is available now only at Holoops.com. Boom. Little side chain workaround. Freeze the duplicate. And then now that they're frozen, flatten. And to do this correctly, you're gonna to need to do it as audio. So you're gonna to wanna to wait until you have finished your production and are ready to flatten your song to stems as if you're gonna send it off to be mixed. But really this is something that you can do yourself. As you can see, the sampler did a good chunk of the work for us, but we're gonna to wanna to go and just clean it up the tiniest little bit more. Let's also zoom in a little bit more too. I'm gonna to use the command scroll trick from my five more Ableton shortcuts tutorial. I'll put a link to that in the description. But for now, we're just gonna be doing some fading and you're definitely not gonna to wanna to be doing this in this view. So hit the letter A and get out of automation mode. And what we're doing is creating space for these waves so that this can come in. If you have a repeating pattern like most of your tracks probably will. You don't have to do this for the whole song. You just have to do it once for your pattern. And this doesn't take any plugins. We're not clipping anything. We're just simply cleaning it up and creating space. And because these fades and cuts in the 808 stem are so short and the kick is in them, you don't even really notice it. Let's see how far we got. Did I do a whole bar yet? Yes, I did. Boom. And now let's A-B this with the not stemmed out version so you can hear the difference. Hey. 
And now that we've created holes in the 808 stem for our kick, we actually have a little bit more headroom to push our kick drum without getting any unwanted and harsh distortion. So there you have it. That is my simple secret to having a bumping kick and 808 at the same time. These tricks are not just for Ableton users. You could slice and fade your stems in any music software. So get your subs disrespectful and your kicks coming through clean. And I'll catch you next time with another tutorial. Peace out.